makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine. Hey, 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 yes, sir. Y'all know what this is. If you're a real ninja, hit the like button. Another one. If you want to be a real ninja, hit the another, subscribe another button. Another one. Yes, sir. Show the algorithm you're not a bigot by hitting that like button and the subscribe button, baby. Let's go. Take this damn mask off. Woo! Yes, sir. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Ninja and Nerds News segment. All right, guys, I am on uh, Twitter, Rumble, you know what I'm saying, Instagram, everything, all like handles should be on the screen below me. Um, screw it. Let's just go ahead and get into the news. Yesterday, we did a video on limited run games, okay, after they had uh, <clears throat> inexplicably fired an employee over the people they were following on Twitter. Now, uh, what we didn't mention yesterday was there was a specific person who spearheaded the, you know, the canceling campaign. And now Twitter is making a huge example out of limited run games and the woke freakazoid, because that's what he is, who uh, exposed all this. So let's go ahead. Shout out to Data Racer. Here's the CEO of Limited Run Games who fired an employee because she was fo because she followed Gina Carano, Blair White, and lives of TikTok. If I'm not mistaken, Blair White is a trans person, but I think that person is conservative, and so that's why. Douglas Bogert, he him, says people should only be allowed to post their opinions if you're a woke liberal. Let's see, let's see what we're looking at here. Douglas Bogey. Oh, well, that's not surprising. Look at him. I should use this and censor myself more. Opinions expressed are solely my own and do not express the views of opinions of my employer. Gamers, telling companies with American citizens they aren't allowed to have opinions. Don't be that guy. We are, we are undeterred in a commitment to stand up for reproductive choice and liberty. This person is blanked out. Shut the F up and make games. That's all anyone wants from you. I mean, that's facts. Sorry, sorry. I normally avoid this, but I'm sick to my stomach. Don't be racist. And Black Lives Matter. Hold on, y'all. All right. Um, if my saying this upsets you, you are free to unfollow me just as I am entitled to my own opinion. All right. Uh, and then they continue. Purple Tinker is the founder of BronyCon and the trans activist responsible for, uh, you know, the cancel, I mean, the uh, firing of that employee. Bronies are adult My Little Pony fans into furry, into f furry cosplay and pornographic cartoon art. I probably should have said uh, pornographic. I am sorry, YouTube. Uh, they have multiple. Kidophiles. <laughs> I'm trying, goddammit. Ah! Bro, this this new thing is gonna be the death of me. They had multiple kidophiles. <laughs> Hold on. This reminds me of that time the quartering said spite. <laughs> he said <laughs> Jeremy from the quartering was in a video and he was reading something. And he's, he said the spicification of children. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. But he was trying his best to censor the words that he was saying. And he said the spicification of children. <laughs> so, so they have multiple kidophiles in their community. And one tried to abduct an 11-year-old at 2014 BronyCon. Let's see. This is the Purple Tinker, by the way. The community manager for Limited Run Games, Kara Lynch, is a transphobe who follows a veritable who follows a veritable who's who's who of right-wing transphobic creeps. 
unless and until she is fired from the company permanently i am not giving them an, another single dime interesting this is the person in question Come on, man. Come on, man. Zero tolerance for kidophiles and kidophile enablers. Recent evidence has been provided showing beyond a reasonable doubt that he is a kidophilic <laughs> sex sexual predator. <laughs> While a large majority of the community has come out against him, a smaller number of members have come out and talked about forgiving him before even before even a week has passed a word about brownies so i just got back last night from a brownie convention in san francisco i was working a booth for a vendor friend and let me tell you what happened we met a little girl who was there with her family she got a button drawn at our booth told us all about her favorite ponies and was overall just too damn cute she was an mlp lawn yard filled with pins she gotten in the vendor's room and gave me a flutter a fluttershy pin because she liked my cosplay she ended up just hanging out with us for a while and being super cute we call her babby because she's 11 and precious the next day she runs up to the booth terrified and asks if she can please hide under our table for a few minutes turns out a dude had been following her around the con all day and tried to get her to come up to his hotel room alone she tells us she thought he was okay at first because he was wearing an MLP shirt, but she didn't want to go anywhere with him and he made her uneasy. At one point, after she refused, he grabbed her arm in the elevator and tried to get her to follow him. She ran and now she wants somewhere to hide. Um, why would you ever bring a child to a convention full of grown men who are fans of My Little Pony? Is, is, is beyond me. Beyond me. There's just certain red flags that have to go off in your mind and say, hey, these grown men are not. Let's just let's just keep it. Purple Tinker stalked, docks, and threatened to murder another Bronnie for two years. She sent her, she sent her stalking victim. Yeah. <laughs> she defended Kidophilia, a very long account with 100 receipts on tumblr this is who this is who limited run games fired a girl for being conservative so i guess we are going to read all this okay purple tinker is an abuser and a kidophile hey guys so quick heads up purple tinker is creepily obsessed with me as you know and she's now taken to claiming that my work safe fan fictions from three years ago are now kidophilic prawn she's literally doing to me what Bronnie's did to pinky pony during dwm someone who is supposedly her friend she also linked me to kidophilic grape prawn involving apple bloom i wish i was kidding on that last one if you don't believe me check out the post where the kiddos admits to it she deleted naturally she deleted naturally so here's a screen cap which underlines how she thinks it's appropriate to punish people she doesn't like with links to graphic prawn grape prawn of children and Nambla's website. Over the past two years, Jessica Blank has also continued other various forms of harassment against me, which is documented here, including spamming her Twitter feed with my name, photo changing her icon to be a picture of my face, posting my name and personal information on 4chan and 4chan affiliates, sending innumerable threats, harassment over various messenger services, email befriending my Facebook friends so she could view my private Facebook page, and getting me fired from a volunteer position at a convention by harassing the people working with me, including the VIP IDW uh, artists, all while making false claims that I am violent, delusional, transphobic, and or crazy. Jessica, Bl Jessica Blank has also continued to send me multiple threatening emails and messages despite multiple requests to cease all contact and being blocked on every front. She frequently tries to force me to make contact with her, either by finding a new account of mine to contact or coercing my friends contacts to speak to me on and that's inside bizarre world of Ronnie's adult male fans of my little ponies what in tarnation am i looking at does this not scream kidophile to you 
What am I looking at? Are y'all seeing this? Man, it's getting weird. It's getting weird, my boy. My Little Pony, my little pony fans, mostly grown men, attend Minnesota convention. Fans of My Little Ponies or fans of the fans of My Little Ponies, if you get what I'm saying. My Little Pony enthusiasts gathered at Minnesota's first ever convention over the weekend, but the majority of the attendees weren't young girls. They were adults dressed up like colorful ponies. Imagine this is your son. <laughs> Imagine this is your son, bro. The brony fandom makes me uncomfortable. Sometimes features cartoon pony v Janus. What in the world is going on, bro? Chris Chan is going to BronyCon. Like, are you serious? This is a grown man. Yikes. Yeah, we're not reading all that. I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's recap. Purple Tinker. Hold on. Put this up. Purple Tinker sent. Kid Great Prawn defends Kidophilia and statutory grape doxes stalks makes death threats and founded a My Little Pony convention circuit that had kidophiles running rampant. Limited run games give Kara Lynn her job back and apologize publicly. Agreed. Agreed. And this should be this should be, you know, a heads up to every company. Stop canceling people and firing people and destroying people's lives over these woke freakazoids. It needs to stop. Because now you're stuck in an awkward position. You hire her back, you're gonna look bad. You don't hire her back, you're gonna look bad. You fired somebody for this freakazoid? And congratulations. Now you got all of these people who um, will never be customers again. Uh, this person says employees may not directly or indirectly intimidate, fire, or threaten to fire employees because of their voting activities. Additionally, employees employers discriminate against what well, additionally employers discriminate against employees because of their youth use of lawful products which can be broadly defined as things such as blogging software twitter political science and other products used to speak wow wow bless the north carolina gop for adding being conservative to employment uh, discrimination laws facts i don't know if we got that here in georgia but we need it anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments i'll talk to y'all a little bit later Like you started attention, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Slide to the crib, like Dracula's mansion, my baby.